today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're feeling good this Saturday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. It's up to you, depending in the place you're located, depending if you're looking to this right now, live or later on the recording. Welcome, everybody. For those of you who are on Amazon, welcome. For those of you which are not on Amazon, please feel free to type Amazon Mark, okay. <laughs> marketing.live and then you can find me on Amazon. Or if you are watching, for instance, this on YouTube or Twitter and you want to check the products where, which I'm talking about, just type marketing.shop and you will find them or you can see you can hit you can click the link in the description so you can see which the products i'm talking about welcome everybody here I, it's marco novo from portugal today uh, it was a sunny day but it's already 5 6 30 3, 6 <laughs> p.m. so it's getting cold Hope you're doing fine in this Saturday. I came here to talk a little bit with you, show some nice products, deals, and chat a little bit. And by the way, if it's the first time you're watching me on Amazon, please feel free to follow so you can get my next broadcasts. Okay, and with that, okay, let me play some background music. If you want, you can follow me on all those social media platforms as well. Feel free to say hello, how are you? <laughs> if you have any questions about the products, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Let's kick start this and one of the things this came yesterday to my setup these new lights this NAD uh, LED lights from newer I think I can show you here okay so I have these two at the left and right even though it, on your side it looks different and I have those two in the middle okay so they are clamped to my to my desk one of the good things besides the 
another thing that I can clamp them to my okay let me see something because I think I like this more <laughs> okay so the thing is I'm controlling these lights via my cell phone okay so I can let me see if I can show you. so you can see here the four LED lights okay so for instance I can turn them off here okay as you can see and I'm gonna turn them on okay I'm gonna use just these two because they are the they are highlighted in the carousel. Let me see if, okay, I don't think they are in a deal, but just let me double check. You will get, if you, if you click the check mark button, you will get extra $40. There's a coupon, a $40 coupon, which is nice with these LED lights. Okay. So what you can do with these lights is that you can, let me see, you can, uh, let me show you, you can adjust the brightness. Oh my God, I'm getting tanned. Just using the cell phone app. Okay, also You can adjust the color temperature. I rather use these warm temperatures right now. Okay, you have these color adjustments. Okay, you can play around. Just like this, and you can see how they change the colors. As you can see, they have also the barn, so you can kind of orientate the, the light. And also you have this option of scenes, which is one of the most funniest. And also this could bring some entertainment. Okay, you have nine different scenes. Okay, let me start here. You have the squad car, you have the ambulance, you have the fire engine. You have this fireworks option. You have party. You have candlelight, as you can see, going up and down slowly. Like there was some candlelights. You have the lightning. Paparazzi and also the display screen. Okay, so let me show you because I can't remove them from my desk. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how they uh, actually look. Just give me one second. So there you go, this is what you can see. The, the clamps and you can adjust them depending of the, your desk, okay. So, oops, you have this 50 watts. power you have a diffuser to better spread the light 50 meter bluetooth range which is good because this is uh by the way this they are connected to my cell phone via an app via bluetooth okay which is really practical because you don't need to go back and forth to adjust the lights really practical Okay, and they are really similar to the other ones I'm using in front of me. And also, I, I forgot to, to mention this. Also, you can plug 
on the back on uh, here on the left and on the right you can plug uh, two batteries if you want to use this outside also you can control the the lights in these two buttons okay but the thing is it's more practical to make this management through your cell phone okay so let's move on these are the different options and let me see if i can show you because i think i have them in the carousel as well the others like the other lights i'm using let me see because the the others are really similar the difference is yes and i think they are in a deal let me wait a little bit the main difference is that the, these ones they they have they are old in tripods okay let me show you oops so those they go in the floor with tripods and those they have clamps for instance those could, you could, can use if you're using standing desks which go up and down to keep the level you can use these ones and if you have a desk which doesn't move or if you want to take them outside because it's harder for you if you want to take this this kind of lights outside it's harder to take uh, this this one because they need to be clamped to a table or a desk okay so if you need the the lights to go outside then you can do it because as i showed you before you can put batteries in the back okay so it depends on you and those they are in a deal okay they work exactly the same the main difference it's a physical one it's the way oops is the stand okay those are tripods those are clamps okay so let's move on if you're wondering which microphone i'm using right now this is the cute microphone this is the cute microphone the sure mv7 an amazing microphone which you will love the sound okay you can control this microphone you can use <laughs> you can use this microphone via xlr cable which is this one let me see okay so here i can show you better this is the xlr cable which gets the sound to uh audio interface oh my god my light it's so awkward let me reduce the brightness okay okay i think now it looks a little bit better okay so this is the shore microphone you can work with it also as a usb microphone you have here a micro usb input also it comes with two cables one usb c to micro usb to connect here and to a, a usb c plug in your computer or usb c to usb a if your computer it's a little bit older and only has usb a uh, connectors okay also it has here here this is uh, audio uh, monitor okay so you can plug here a uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, headphones to listen how you're sounding but only when you're using this microphone as a usb okay it has here a touch a touch control on this side when again when you use here when you use the usb connector okay it's really practical and i think the good thing about this microphone is that you can listen how it sounds okay and it's really a good microphone soon i think i will have his big brother but i'm gonna stay using them okay i will use both <laughs> but it, it it is really a good sounding microphone it's a dynamic microphone and this is something that i like about this microphone as well 
because dynamic microphones, they are made to catch the sound only from the close to them. Okay, so if I type in the keyboard, if I click the mouse, oh, probably you won't be listening that. Okay, and this is something important for me because I don't want to bring unwanted noises, sounds to my microphone. Okay, so if you are willing to have an amazing microphone, really good sounding, if you want to put your sound on another level, this could be the Shure MV7 could be a really nice option for you. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see what else we have here today. And if you're wondering which boom arm I'm using to hold this microphone, this is another newer product. A really sturdy boom arm. Maybe, let me see if you can see it here or here. Okay, you can see it. I think it's the best angle is this one. Okay, so this is a really sturdy boom arm. Sometimes it, it's even hard to move it around. Okay, so it's good for heavy microphones like this one or the Blue Snowball, uh, the Blue Yeti or the Shure MV, SM7B, these kind of microphones. The good microphones, usually they are heavy. Okay, and when we talk about recording, podcast, live streaming microphones, they are usually they are heavy, so you need a sturdy, sturdy boom arm. A good thing about, let me see if in this angle you can see, yes, you can see it here. Okay, so as you can see here, there's no springs outside. Okay, they are uh, inside hidden. So this will uh, prevent one of the most annoying things about uh, boom arms, which is when they have outside springs. And I'm going to bring one. This is a sheep boom arm, and when I move it, you can see the sound he does, okay? Really not so good. This was the first boom arm I bought. But when you have a boom arm like this one, you can move without problems. And also there's no, the problem when you put the boom arm like this uh, and at the beginning it is like this. And when you end your recordings, it will be falling and falling and falling and going down. Okay, so it will stay in the place which you put it him. Okay, so this is a really sturdy boom arm. Also, it comes with straps, so you can adjust the cable uh, over it. And also, it comes with the XLR cable as well, which is a really nice XLR because, for instance, before I had an, I was using another one, and this one sounds way better. Okay, so if you want a really nice boom arm, this could be the good one for you. I don't know, let me check. Uh, yes, you will get 20%. You will get extra 20% discount. Okay. If you click here and this is how it looks. Okay. It has this adapter. So if you have different kind of microphones, so you can put here a Blue Yeti, a Snowball. I think this is the Audio Technica uh, 2020. This one, I don't know which is. It comes also with this, oops, this XLR cable. Really nice boom arm, okay. Sturdy, strong, good looking as well, even though this is not important, okay. But it is really a, a good microphone, a good a boom arm, okay. As you can see, it you can move it uh, 360 degrees. Okay, really nice. Okay, so if you need a boom arm for a good microphone, if you are seeing, thinking about buying this uh, Shure MV7, 
this could be the right, and it's not expensing, having in mind how good the boom arm is. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see what else. I think the next thing here in the carousel, yes, it is. This tripod mount. Even though I'm not using with a tripod, <laughs> I'm, I'm using it only with my iPhone to manage this broadcast. This is the mount, okay? It comes with this key so you can fasten this button here. Let me see if I can show you, okay? There you go. So here you have this screw and with this key you can uh, fasten or tighten or loosing. Okay. So you can move it around 360 degrees. Okay. Also, as you can see here, okay, the width you can put up to 22 centimeters a tablet. Okay, you have the release button, a soft pad, yes, it, it, it has, I think I can show you, let me just do this because I'm using it right now. Let me show you how it looks. Okay, so there you go. Okay, you can move it like this around. Okay, and as you can see, it, it stays there. It's kind of stabilization up. There you go. Okay, you have here this, this side. Oh, I put this upwards. Okay, you have here this release button. Let me see if I'm not breaking anything. Okay, so there you go. You have this soft padding here, here, so it doesn't scratch your cell phone or tablet. And also you have padding here at the top and at the bottom. Okay, you can tilt it as well. And I think I have the key somewhere. go so there's the key here so you can adjust Oops. I think it's better to use it like this there you go if you want to release a little bit this or fasten it You can do it, as you can see now it's, I think you can understand that, okay. Also, let me check, because I think this is, you have this, you can apply other devices at the top, you just need to remove these pieces here. Okay, let me show you. Okay, you have here this and you can remove it and then you can put here uh, another device as far as it has an adapter or you can do, and you have another one here. Okay, if you want to put like this, like here, a microphone or a light or something, you can put it there. As you can see there. Okay, really nice. I think maybe I will start using this with a tripod. Don't know. <laughs> but the thing is, like this, It stays stable on my desk, as you can see, okay? And I'm using it with my iPhone to manage 
my broadcasts. Okay, so this is how this newer mount adapter works. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have the Echo. Let's talk with Alexa. Alexa, how are you today? Terrific. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Alexa, what uh, Echo Dot does? Here's something I found on the web. According to VMware.com, Amazon Echo Dots are steadily becoming ubiquitous household devices, able to stream music and podcasts, set alarms, play audiobooks, provide weather and traffic alerts, and generate other real-time information via voice interaction. Did that answer your question? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Alexa, how's the weather in Portugal today? Thanks for your feedback. Okay. Alexa, how's the weather in Portugal? Right now in Lisbon, Lisboa, it's 13 degrees Celsius with partly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has cloudy skies with a low of 8 degrees. Thank you. Alexa, tell me a joke. Have you heard the rumor about butter? Never mind. I shouldn't spread it. <laughs> Alexa, thank you. Absolutely. Happy to help. Hope you had a good Saturday. So this is a really nice device, okay? It can play music, podcasts. It, you can sync this with lights at your house or other devices. You just need to check, and this is important, because not all of them are uh, connectable with Alexa. So you may, sh you may need to check, check it. Okay, but the thing is, it is a really nice and useful device if you want to take advantage of voice-assisted devices and also with AI, which will help you a lot. So let's move on. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, I have here my flashlight. I don't think I have it here. I'm going to get it. So wait a little bit. Okay, let me play a little background music while I'm going. Okay, this is... I am back. Thanks so much for waiting. Okay, so this is the flashlight. The Huben C3 flashlight. Really small, solid flashlight. Let me just check something. Okay, it's in a deal you will save. seven dollars and if you apply the coupon you will get extra 10 percent discount so this is a really nice time for you to buy this flashlight if you need it okay why did i bought this because my cat was hitting constantly on the backyard at night so i would i needed to go after her so i bought this because it's small it's tiny also you get this lanyard with this adjustable piece so you can put it close to your wrist as you can see here ok 
Okay, really nice. We have this. It's rechargeable via this. Oh my god. So here it's where. You can charge it. Okay, as you can see here, it has this nice clip if you want to clip the, the flashlight and it has four different levels of light. The Echo, Echo with a little bit more light than a medium and then a high. I think the high goes up to 100 meters. Okay, and also you have two flashing light options, the flashing and um, emergency flashing and strobe. They are really hard to get there. Okay, I need to make this <laughs> clarify clarification. Okay, but I'm going to show you. So this is the... Okay, I think this went out of battery. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so let me put this in the... The lowest one. No, it's not this one. Okay, I think. Okay, so, oh my god. Today, this is a little bit crazy. Okay, this is the most quiet. This is the echo option. And then when you click it two times fastly, the button, this will increase a little bit the light. Let me try it. Okay, this is not working really. Okay. Oh my god, this is today's. I don't know it. what's wrong. Maybe I'm not. Okay, now you can see it changing. Okay. Also, it has this, this flashing option, which for me it's really difficult to, to get. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can, but I, 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 you have to hit uh, three times fastly the button so you can change the to strobe and flashing emergency. Okay. Also, it is. Let me see. I think it's IPX. It's waterproof. I think it is IPX six. Let me just check. Yes. So it means it goes underwater up to one meter. Okay, which is nice because sometimes we need to use a flashlight in not so good weather conditions. Okay, so really solid, robust, small, and has an amazing light, which is really good on a flashlight. <laughs> okay, LED light. Also, it has a rechargeable battery, really nice. So if you want are considering to buy a flashlight, this could be a really nice option for you and affordable today you will get two discounts it's in a deal right now and you can get an extra 10 percent discount if you just check that coupon uh thick mark okay so let's move on let me know if you have any question please don't be shy okay also don't forget to follow if it's the first time you're tuning in please follow me so you can get a notification every time I go live. Let me play some background music.
and also you can follow me on social okay let don't forget this because it's important as well to unmute so you can interact with me And also, if you want to follow me on other social media platforms, there you have my users. Let me know if you have any question. So let's move on. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about this nice device. Oh my God, today this looks so green. I don't know what's happening here. Let me just do something here. So look how cute this is. <sighs> Okay, there you go. Now it looks better. Okay, let me put the mug aside. Maybe I can do some zoom here so you can see this a little bit better. Oh my God, for me, this is so hard to find. This scene. Okay, because the name it's wrong, so this is misleading me. Now it's good. Okay, there you go. So this is the Phonica's external sound card. Really nice and easy to use, really practical. I bought this because for me it was a little bit not practical to go back and forth from my computer to reach the external the the uh, computer sound card to plug and unplug uh, for instance headphone speakers or these kind of things also microphones okay and also one of the good, uh, one of the things we are facing by these days is that usually laptops they don't have much plugins for audio devices okay so with this device you can get this because uh, first they it has three different uh, three usb ports one two three okay and besides that here 
here you can connect headphones here you can connect a headset like for instance those who come usually with cell phones okay with the headphones and the microphone and here you can connect a microphone via 3.5 millimeter uh, plug-in okay besides that you have here the controls for instance if you're using a spotify or youtube you can control them over here okay you have the back button for instance if you go, want to go to the previous track or if you want to put the track to play from the beginning also you have here the mute and a, a mute button if you're using here the microphone let me see okay also you have here the equi equalization button if you want to put on stereo 7.9 one <laughs> 7.1 also you have here to, if you want to go to the next track and here you can hit play, play and pause okay also you get this volume button with this led cute led lights okay this is a really nice device it's really really practical and also you will get today a extra six percent coupon code code with this okay so for instance if you want to go out and about uh, on travel or in a, a holidays or something and you need extra you need to plug things to your laptop or to your okay i'm using this with the desktop because this is connected via usb which is practical as well okay but for instance because usual right these days uh, laptops they don't have that much or nor uh, nor usb ports and uh, audio inputs so with this you will get the two things at the same time and also you have this player controller which is really nice as well so if you need uh, an external audio card this could be the phonicus phonicus or phonicus well 1010 10 t10 <laughs> t10 could be a really nice option for you okay so let's move on let's see what else we have here don't forget by the way to follow so you can get my broadcasts okay so whoa we have these beautiful monitor stands. And why do, do I say that they are beautiful? Because they are really helpful. As you can see, okay, let me stop this. They are here and here, okay. Metallic, sturdy. Why did I bought this? Because I wanted to rise my monitors, okay, because they were too low and i didn't want to use books <laughs> okay and the other thing is my monitors because they are a little bit old i can't use those monitor harm stands uh, screwing them because they my monitors don't have threads in the back so i can uh, screw the harm stands so i needed to find another way so i bought this sturdy stands here you can adjust the height of them you have three different levels okay besides that and this is also nice you can use this with printers with uh, okay like kind of uh, if you want to put a hi-fi uh, radio or something you can put it as well uh, a record player as well and underneath you will get extra room okay and this could can work like a kind of a shelf as well so this is really practical okay and really affordable as well let me see if they are if you we have any deal here no but 27 27 dollars it's a really nice price for this thing and also it's really helpful and also healthy because I was looking down to look at my monitor. This was not at my high level. And with this, I'm at a high level. And this is 
preventing lots of headaches to me. <laughs> okay? And this is important as well. Okay? And I think you noticed there's something on the top of my stand is this C3 external drive. And I don't know about you, but, oops, this one. I don't know about you, but one of the things I was, I found myself struggling before buying this was that I didn't have any CD, DVD player on my computers. Okay, so one day I wanted to play a DVD or I think I wanted to record one or something and I looked at my desktop and there was no CD player and I thought, oh my God, what's happening here? I tried to bring uh, a CD player from a CD drive from another computer, but the thing is I needed to buy cables and remove it and do so many things. And I thought, okay, maybe it will be cheaper to buy an external CD drive. Okay, so I found this one and it's in a deal. Okay, you will save 21% and also you will get, there's a extra coupon with more 20% discount. Ooh, how amazing this could be. Hmm? Let me show you. So there you go. Okay, so you will get 21% discount and then you will get extra 20% if you just click here. Okay, which is really nice. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the device. As you can see, really thin. It's light, okay? It's, uh, as you can see, it's easy to, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying you to throw it away. Okay. I think the only thing, one of the things I don't like, I dislike a little bit about this is that the cable is too short. This is a three uh, USB 3 cable, okay, and uh, the input, of course, or the output, it's a, uh, so I don't recommend using this with two part, uh, USB 2 device, because it doesn't work really well, okay, because this is a mechanical, don't forget, this is a, mechanic, a mechanical device, so it needs an extra power in order to work, so, but I think it's the only thing I don't like about this, because it's affordable, it's practical also. You can listen to that old CD which was there in the drawer and s since the 90s <laughs> and you were not listening to it or you can watch that old uh, DVD about, I don't know, Star Wars or something. This is a really nice and practical thing. Okay, so, and bes besides that, you will get, as you can see here, you will get 21% discount, and after, if you just check here, you will get extra 20%, which is awesome. So let's move on. Let me see what else we have here. I think I need to do something here. Meanwhile, let me play some background music because I need to make a small change on my cell phone. Hello, Tyler! How are you, my friend? So good to see you here! Okay, I'm using... I'm good as well, but I need to make something here on my iPhone because it's going to the screensaver too fast. So I need to go to the definitions and to change this because this is annoying me a little bit.
blocking the, <laughs> the screen on the iPhone. It's really annoying. So another amazing device, and this for me, it's one of my favorite ones, is my Stream Deck. Let me show you. Okay, I made I made some changes here, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to set up this cute device. So there you go, this is the software to control the device. So one of the things that happened to me right now is that this key here, which gives me the overhead with the picture-in-picture -picture camera, it's not working, so I need to change it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna change this camera to, let me see. There you go, all set. And now if I click here, let me see if this is working. There you go. So this is how it looks. This is the old version, but it's it's more than okay to use it. Okay, and let me check if it's in, I think it is in a deal. Yes, it is. It will save $10. Okay, here I have my scenes. Okay, as you can see, I'm changing my scenes through these keys. Okay, really practical. Okay, also I have here my main deck. Okay. I have here scenes, sound effects, voice modifier, which is a little bit crazy, so I'm not using it today. I'm he here, I have background musics. I have here some uh, voice mod effects as well. Here are the sound effects to my amazing show. I don't know if you saw it yesterday. If, if you didn't saw it yesterday, next week it will be more... Amazing show here. I have some uh, stream deck, stream yard hotkeys. Also, I have some macros which do more than one function. For instance, when I hit the magical key, when I get a new follower, it changes the scene on OBS and also it plays a music. Okay, and here I have my program launch uh, uh, deck. Okay, so here I, I can launch Photoshop, Adobe, uh, DaVinci Resolve, OBS. Sure Plus Motive, here it's the Demo Creator, Google uh, Chrome, Video LAN, here I have, I have Logitune, Spotify, Sketch, and Wondershare Filmora, okay, so this is really practical. Let me show you because I want to make some adjustments on my, let me do this. I want to make some adjustments on my, oops, oops, on my background music deck, okay, because I think I need to improve it. By the way, just let me make um, a clarifying, I'm Portuguese, so this is this, the buttons, most of them, they are in Portuguese. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to create another page. I'm going to paste the button here. Okay. I'm going to, and I'm going to delete this. Okay, so I have another, I'm going to do the same here, copy, paste, there you go, I'm going to here, and I'm going to 
delete this as well. Same here. Okay, I'm going to grab some music here on Pixabay because they have free music. Okay, well, this is too short. Okay, I like this one. Okay, now this is a little bit up. This is a little bit more clean. And I'm gonna then I'm gonna here to the soundboard play audio. Okay, title, honor, and sword. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to grab the file, even though later I'm going to change it to another another folder. I'm going to search it here. There you go. Action, play, stop. I'm going to put fade in, fade out for three seconds. Then I can adjust the volume. Okay, I'm going to put this... 75% which is strong because this music it's powerful and I'm gonna say I want this to go to the aux vio and now let me try it so I think this is working So this is how, and one of the things you can do as well is to just drag and drop and to change the things as you want. Okay, so I think I'm going to grab, let me see if I can do this. No, I can't, but I can do this. This is the fashion house. I can delete it here. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this, paste it here, delete it here. Okay, this one as well. Let me play. So so welcome everybody if it's the first time tuning in welcome to my broadcast i'm just trying i'm just setting my stream deck one of the most amazing hardwares on my desk. Welcome everybody, Marco Nova from Portugal here saying hello. Hope you're having an amazing Saturday. Saturday night. Da -dee -da -da.
So this is how the Stream Deck works. And besides that, you can you can uh, use uh, this with Twitter, with Facebook, with YouTube. Also, you can kind of preset texts up to 500 characters. Okay, so for instance, if you need to type the same text often, okay, you can record it here. And then let me show you this. Okay, I think it's better to show than to to explain how it works. Okay, so let me let me go to oops. Okay, so I'm gonna okay here I'm gonna create a new button, I think it's here on Stream Deck. Not here, so it should be. Okay, things usual. Oh, system? Yes. Here on the system. Hello. So this is a text and I can set this and for instance I go to the chat on Amazon I'm going to press this button and there you go as you can see this is really nice okay so I don't need to be typing the same text once and twice and keep moving. Okay, I just type it here. Okay, and every time I need it up to 500 characters, I can go. Okay, and the thing is, if you uh, have a long text with more than 500, you can split it. And so you can put here like one, here and then two. Okay, really nice, really practical. Okay, so let me move on. Let me, oh, by the way, I want to put here a button. First, I need, I want to delete this because this is a, a kind of a default key. Okay, but the thing is I want to put here, oops. I want put here a key to go back to the main menu. How can I do this? I go to the Stream Deck, switch profile because each deck it's a profile. I put here title main because I already know which what does this mean, and then I go here and I need main deck. So I'm gonna and there you go. Okay, and for instance, there's no a text, there's no uh, text button here in the main deck, so I'm going to put this here again. I'm going to create a button for that. I'm going to put this here, switch profile. There you go. And I want to put here um, an icon, maybe uh, a pen writing. I'm going to see if I can find one on internet.
Okay, I think this one it's nice. Okay, I think I need to make kind of a little Okay, I think now I'm good to go. I uh, need to go here in the, let me see if you're seeing the same, we are in the same page. Okay, so I need to go here in this tiny arrow, set from file. I'm gonna here, this is the icon. There you go, look how cute this is and when I hit the button here this oops so this is not set to the right main deck text it's not the next profile it's the textures which is texts in Portuguese okay so I'm gonna hit this key and now I'm here and when I hit this key I'm back to the main profile which is awesome Okay, so this is how the Stream Deck works. A really nice device. So let's move on. What else we have here? This creative camera, which is this camera. Okay, so this is how it looks. I think the best thing about microphones and cameras is to look to show how they work, how they look, how they sound. I think it's the best way for you to know how they are. Okay, so this is a really nice camera. As you can see, it has a good image. Let me see if... No, unfortunately, it's not on a deal. Okay. Okay, up to 1080p. Really nice. As you can see, it has a good image. Okay. You can use it in so many different things. Also, I think you can see it here. Let me let me share screen so you can see. Because I can show you here as well this privacy cover. I think you can see this rubber cover. Okay. There you go. So this is how it looks. Okay. As you can see here, the, the cover. Okay. She moves around. She tilts. She does so many things. So I think this is maybe in the future, this could be bet, uh, better because so far it's only 30 frames per second. Okay, it's the standard, but with 60 frames per second, you will get a better image. Okay, 77 degrees field of view. One of the things, okay, as you can see, the, the privacy cover. Okay, one of the things I like about this camera and okay, you can see how she moves. One of the things I like about this camera is that she focuses really fast, okay? As you can see, and she does a pretty good job on focusing, okay? As you can see, and now let me try it with low light situations, okay? Let me try this. Let me reduce the brightness and let's see how it works. Okay, 1%, no light at all, not bad, okay? Just, but I think now I have 3% brightness and as you can see, I have a pretty decent image. Okay, let me put this uh, up to, let me see, at 25%. I think the image is pretty decent. Okay, so this could be a nice option as a webcam. <laughs> okay. This creative live cam. 
So if you are willing to buy a really nice webcam, this could be a nice option for you. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see what else we have here in the carousel. I have also my amazing Logitech H390 headset. Okay. Let me see because usually it has uh, a good deal. Let me just check if you have one today. Mm, I don't think it has. But sometimes they they have some, you just go to the buying options and maybe you can find, because sometimes they have some packages with, with it. But the thing is, the price is really nice, having in mind what you'll get, okay? Has soft paddings, not the most soft thing, okay, it's not the most soft, thing, soft uh, paddings in the world, but they are good. Okay, also it has the microphone which you can adjust and move it. It has this remote or the control to the headset. So here you can adjust the volume of the headphones up and down. And in this middle button, you can mute and unmute your microphone. Okay, so let me show you how it sounds because I think you may want to listen. I'm going to connect it here. There you go. Let me remove one of the earbuds. Okay, let me put this down. I think this is working. Just let me check something here because I want to hear myself as well. Okay, I think it, they are already sounding. Yes, they are. So this is how this headset sounds. Not, not the most perfect sound in the world, of course, and please don't compare it to the short MV7, it's unfair, but I think it sounds pretty nice. Also, you can use this to some Zoom calls, online training, some video calls, Google meeting, <laughs> okay, uh, Microsoft Teams, this could be a nice option, okay having in mind it is affordable and it sounds pretty decent. Okay, so let me show you and let me see if I can. So here you have this, the control. Okay, you can put here as I showed you before here, it's the volume up here, it, but for the headphones, not for the microphone. Okay, volume down and up. And as you can see, the light, it's on. And this means that the microphone is on. When you mute the microphone, the light starts flashing. Let me show you. One, two, three. And light on again and unmuted again. Okay, really nice microphone. Okay, affordable headset not microphone from logitech logitech it's a brand that one of the things why i and for instance this camera right now this one here at top this one it's a logitech it's the logitech c920 a really nice camera and also i forgot to mention that this headset has a really long cord let me see i think it's around six feet let me just double check. Yeah, it's six feet, so you can move around easily. As you can see, this is a long cord. Okay, so this is almost 
wireless <laughs> okay so this is a really nice headset so if you want to take a look please just I'm back hopefully let me check if this is working I think it should be yes it is so let's move on let me check what else we have in the carousel okay i already talked about this led lights the microphone as well the elgato hd 60s it's a video capture card which allows this camera to work as a webcam, okay? This is a camcorder. Let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna do this thing. Okay, hopefully this will work. And this is the anchor camera. Let me check it here. may work yep <laughs> so right there right there it's a camcorder connected through this cable to this device which is the HD60S from Elgato. What this device does, it turns the HDMI signal into USB signal, so I can use this camcorder as a webcam as well. Okay? Usually we can't connect directly the camera to this kind of cameras to the computer, but with this kind of device, and uh, Elgato has some, which allows us to use DSLR, mirrorless, or camcorders as USB cams, which is really practical, okay? So if you have at home an old camcorder, or a camcorder which right now you don't use because we know that now we are, we are using cell phones, to <laughs> to record video okay maybe you can uh, think about using it as a webcam as well for instance this one which brings this kind of side angle if i want to show for instance my led panels my setup whatever this is really practical okay and also you will take advantage of something that you already have at home okay so let's move on. Let me see what else we have here. Okay, we have this tiny anchor USB-C charger. Okay, there you go. So the two main things I like about this charger, one, it's how cute it is, how tiny it is. So it's good if you want to carry it with you on travels or something. Okay, because as you can see, really small, you can put it on a wallet, a wallet, not a pocket, or a bag, or something, and it doesn't take too much room. And the other thing, it's really fast charging, okay? I charge in um, really fast my cell phones with this, okay? It is USB-C, as you can see here, okay? USB-C, it looks really well. This one, it's the, a, an European version, okay? It's not the same kind of inputs as in America because here the uh, outlets, they are different, okay? But the everything else, it's the same. Really fast charging, really nice device. So if you want a charger to your travels, this could be a nice option for you. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> maybe
Maybe you can ironing <laughs> a little bit <laughs> and put it on the wallet. <laughs> oh my God. I was, my bad, my bad. Sometimes it happens, Tyler. <laughs> Don't be cruel. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God. So what else do we have here from Anchor? I think we have the PowerConf C300 camera. This is the camera, okay. Oh my God, something happened here. Okay, and as you can see, this camera follows my movements. As you can see, and this is something that I like about this camera. And for instance, she zooms. Let me see if... Sometimes she... she okay, let me do this. As you can see, she zooms to where I point. Okay. So this is really nice. Oops. <laughs> Tyler, so bad. <laughs> so this is an AI camera. Okay. And she just and this is something that I think could work a little bit better. It's because the exposure it's AI made. Okay, you can't do that manually, and I think it would be good to to be um, allowed to to control a bit a little bit the exposure. Also, the colors they are uh, adjusted via AI. Okay, but the thing is in the overall. This camera works really well. And this following option for me, it's a game changer. Okay, having in mind also the price of the camera, it's a really nice camera. It, you can work in th three different resolutions. A low one, uh, 360, 720, and 1080. Okay, you can work in two different framing uh, frames per second options 30 and 60 okay you have the anchor work let me try to okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna disconnect here the camera and i'm gonna bring the anchor work software and i'm gonna make some tiny adjustments so you can see how the anchor work works okay so i'm gonna do screen share hopefully <laughs> can't believe that I, that i said that <laughs> you can put the charger in the wallet <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god so this is the anchor work software Okay, here we can control this camera. There you go. Two Marcos in the same uh, screen. It's, it's hard to bear, so let me remove one of them. Okay. I'm enjoying. Yes. Submit. So as you can see, we have here these options. Okay, you can control the device. This is a more mechanical uh, setup. Okay, so here we have these uh, three different resolutions. I'm gonna put this in 1080. Let me see. Okay, uh, you have more detail in the image, a better image. Okay, you have these five different angle framing and uh, angle and framing. This is most narrowed, okay. Then you have 90 degrees, as you can see, and now you have 150. 
auto framing okay and self frame which is the one usually i use usually okay because this is the one who allows the camera to have in mind that for instance if you move too often this could cause an awkward situation boring annoying because the camera will be going back and forth all, all the time and this will annoy your viewers okay if usually you stand uh, or usually you're seated or standing in the same place but you just move from times to times this could be a nice option okay also you can adjust here the zoom and uh, the framing okay as you can see here you can adjust zooming and also the frame offset okay as you can see you can move around easily really cute okay also you have these options but i don't like when i put the hrd i think i don't look as good as i want it seems like i have that pale face from the 19th or 18th century or something and i don't like and at anti-flicker i don't see that much changing so i don't use it okay and now we have the adjustments in the brightness okay you can adjust it a little bit also the sharpness okay let me leave it like that the saturation this will bring more color to the color or less color to the color as you can see almost black and white i'm gonna leave it here 35 39 40 okay there you go i think it's good and here we have the contrast ratio okay let me put it like here okay i like how it looks right now okay so as you can see and the other thing it's the horizontal flip and sometimes we have some uh, softwares i think google meeting is one of them which usually they turn your camera around okay in the, they flip the image of your camera and so with this you can kind of counter flip and this will put things uh, normal okay for instance you can see there my stream yard pillow it's properly uh, placed okay but if i flip this will put it in the opposite in the middle with vision okay so i like to you to use this because sometimes you need to work with uh now the image is okay but sometimes you need to work with this to put the image correctly okay so this is how it looks let me get back okay this is a really nice camera i'm completely satisfied and by the way the anchor products were sent to me by uh, anchor okay but they didn't tell told me what i need to talk about them and for in this case it's easy because they the products they talk for <laughs> themselves okay so let's move on let's see what else we have here okay we have this anchor speaker This is how it looks the anchor powerconf bluetooth s3 okay this is a really nice speaker and this is a conference speaker which means for instance you you want to make a meeting with someone else and in a big table with other piece, per, people and you want to bring them all to the same conversation with this speaker which you can connect via Bluetooth to your computer or to your cell phone, for instance. Okay. You have a uh, six, uh, third, uh, oh my God, 360 degrees uh, speaking power because it has, and let me show you. This is the 
a neoprene case okay so it protects the speaker also we have here the charging cable USB-C to USB-A okay and let me open it has here this rubber base really nice okay here you can connect the USB uh, aux cable and this is the charging port okay here you have when you get income calls to get them okay play play and pause button here is to mute the microphone you have the volume up volume down or you can use this also to the next track back track or the beginning of the song because you can use this as a normal speaker as well okay and here you have the power button as you can see it has these cute lights when you mute the microphone this will turn okay i think i okay muted okay i think this connected let me just check something okay so oh i see what i made this is controlling this is controlling my broadcast on amazon <laughs> so this actually works okay because i hit the play button and it put the amazon page to play my video okay so let me okay let me show you here you can see the built-in microphones one two three four five six so it has a six uh, 360 degrees option okay surrounding everything for instance i can uh, uh if i I think I can do this. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to try to use this microphone. I think it's connected. hello okay it's muted now it's unmuted hello 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 okay i think i might need to disconnect something here okay hello 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 let me try if this microphone is working i think, I think it should be working so this, so this right, right now, now you're, you're listening, listening to this microphone hopefully this is working okay. let me try this let me try this so i can monitor the sound Properly. Okay, it sounds. Uh, I think it sounds, and this is something. Let me check. Okay, here. I think. Yes. Okay. How are you? Okay, this is the problem when you connect the sometimes things 
they don't sync properly. Let me do this again. I'm going to resync it. And this is w one of the main reasons I don't like to use, for instance, for live streaming content creation mostly, uh, Bluetooth connected devices, because sometimes they don't work as we want them to work. But one thing nice about this speaker. Let me see if I can show you. Okay. Okay. So now you're listening to this microphone, my main microphone, not the speaker. But the thing is, it lights the place where the sound is coming from. Because right now the, the sound is coming from this side. So the lights are here. And if I turn around, they will move okay this is cute as well if you go to the broadcast i made yesterday the amazing show just type marketing.live you'll be able to see how it sounds. and yesterday it sounded good okay today i think it's the dongle on my computer which is making this conflict so it doesn't sound so good today but it's a really nice device. For instance, you put this in the middle of the table, the conference room table, and then it will catch sound from everywhere. And also you can listen to people on the other side. And it's a nice way for you to keep the conversation going. Let me try this. Oh, yes, it works. <laughs> it's catching the sound from uh, when, where, it is okay so if you need this kind of device this could be a really nice option for you because if you do too many conference calls with other people in the room this could be a nice device for you and it's really affordable as well let me okay let me go to the next item in the carousel Disconnect this and let me turn this on. Okay, so what we have here right now, this microphone. The oops, oh my god, I forgot to connect this camera. There you go. So now we have here this cute toner microphone. I'm going to put it to work. No, I'm going to wait a little bit and I'm going to show you some nice features and some nice things about it. It's a really well-built microphone. Okay, this is something that I like about it. It's a, a robust, uh, well-built metallic. Okay, good feeling. It comes with this uh, shock mount. The design is something that I like about this microphone as well even though the design is not that important uh, in the way the microphone works but for me i like to see good looking microphones okay <laughs> so this one i think it's a good looking microphone also it comes with this boom arm which is the t20 boom arm from toner i think i have it in my carousel as well okay if not no problem at all. <laughs> okay, so well built. You have here this button to adjust the gain. Okay, so you can uh, put the volume up and down. Also, if you hit this button, this will uh, 
mute and unmute the microphone. Okay, I think, let me see how I can do this. Because there's a tiny light here. Okay, I think I need to remove the pop filter. Okay, always, it's always a challenge to remove it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, hopefully, there you go. It has here a, a tiny light. Let me see if you can show you here. There you go. This tiny light says that the microphone is on. When you mute it, it will turn the light off. Okay? And mute it again. Also, you can adjust here the volume of the microphone. And also, in the back, you have, let me see, you have here a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone input so you can monitor the sound from your microphone. I'm going to do it right now. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Don't be shy. And as far as, as this is a microphone, a USB microphone, when you connect the headphones here, you can monitor the whole sound from your computer, okay? Not just from the microphone. For instance, if you're uh, record, if you're making an interview or something, you can listen to your guest as well. Okay, so this is working. Yes, it is. So now I'm, and the monitoring, it's in real time. So there's no that delay uh, when you speak, which it's weird when you listen your voice with a delay of one, two seconds. It's completely, ah, okay. And in this case, it's real time monitoring. Okay, so let me play this. Okay, I think this is connected. Yes, so let me see if this is working. Hello, hello. I think it should be working this right now. Okay, I need to change it here. Just keep... Yes, it's working. So now you're listening to this microphone. As you can see, it has a really good sound as usual in condenser microphones the voice with so much detail okay one of the things i don't recommend when you use this kind of microphones the condenser ones uh, in opposite to this one because uh, dynamic microphones don't have the same amount of detail and also they are not as sensitive as the condenser microphones so my recommendation avoid speaking close too close to the microphone and also directly to the microphone because with that you will get the sound distort okay my recommendation put yourself oh maybe five inches away from the microphone 45 degrees angle okay like this let me see if here okay i think here you can see it better and speak <laughs> and speak a little bit off axis okay like this the microphone is here i'm speaking this direction and it picks the sound really well okay you will get a better sound and without the plosives even though you have this pop filter to avoid the plosives like the bees the bees and the these okay i'm not a huge fan of pop filters even though this one it's cute but usually they make that visual noise which i don't like that much okay but let me try this please 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 pizza yeah it does a pretty good job okay so if you are looking to a good microphone this could be a really nice option for you let me see if okay you will save 
twenty dollars with this deal, and I think it's a pretty good deal for you. Having in mind the price, you will get a really nice microphone, as you can see. Okay, so take a look and try it. Okay, let's move on. What else? Oh, we have here the other cute microphone, the Boya. Let me get the Boya microphone. Okay, I like to call this microphone, oops, sensitive microphones. <laughs> I like to call this microphone the most wireless, wired microphone in the market. And why so? Because it has a 20 feet cord, which will allow you freedom to move around. It's a lavalier microphone, really nice. Okay, let me plug it. Hopefully it will work because sometimes, okay, not this time. I forget to turn it off. And this is a battery powered microphone. Let me plug it here and I'm going to plug it to this audio external sound card. Okay. <laughs> Let me try this. Okay, I think it's... I need to turn it on because this microphone needs... This is a kind of a phantom power and to use it with on the computer or with cameras like DSLR, mirrorless or camcorders, you need to turn this on. If you want to use this with cell phones, you don't need that extra power, okay? Because the, the phone provides the energy for them to work. So you just need to plug this on. Maybe it's working. Yes, it is. Perfect. And now I'm gonna turn this on. So now you're listening to this microphone, this Boya microphone. Let me just show you. Okay, condenser microphone as well. So it's not a good idea to speak that close to them. And you can move around because as I mentioned before, it has this 20 feet cord. I think it's six meters in European sizes. So you can move around, you can say, hello, how are you today? <laughs> and I think it sounds pretty well. One of the main reasons I like Lavalier's microphone is that they allow you to move your hands around. They give you more freedom instead of these kind of microphones because you need to speak close to them. So if you need to move around, if you need to use your hands, this kind of microphone could be a nice option really affordable let me see if there's i think it's in a deal let me check yes follow please follow i'm a nice guy <laughs> so you will get a 25 percent discount five dollars in this deal this is a really nice microphone let me share screen to show you more details about the microphone. Because today I'm feeling good. So as you can see, this is the switcher I mentioned before. Okay, it has this long cable, 3.5 millimeter connector. Okay. So you can connect it to a, this case. I think it's a mirrorless camera. Okay, the microphone. You can connect to the cell phone as well. 
Okay, really nice. Five, 4.4. 4. Oh my God. 4.4 4 out of five stars rating. And the thing is, it sounds pretty well. Okay, so let's move on. What else do we have here today? Oh, we have this cable. Okay, so in case this six, no, 20 feet, six meters are not enough, you will get extra two meters. I don't know, maybe two meters, six, five or something feet. Okay, and you will get this cable where you can connect this microphone or even headphones like these. Okay, you can connect and you should be aware you can connect a microphone to this extender cable because it is a TRRS cable. Can plug in. Okay, let me see if I can show you. As you can see, it has these four segments, and this is a TRRS cable, so it can work with microphones as well. I don't know why this is not focusing fastly as I want. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, in opposite to this kind of connectors, which are just for hearing. Okay, this is a TR. S, okay, only three segments, and this is just for listening. Okay, so if you want to have a extender cable for audio, this could be a nice option. Okay, affordable and nice. And talking about headphones, we come to my Mi Audio m6 in here monitors okay why did i bought them oh thanks for asking good question <laughs> one of the things okay let me highlight them one of the things i'm recommending all the time is when you do live streaming video recording podcasting and you have open mic if you use the speakers if there's another person speaking in the other side if you play music if the music comes through the speakers to the microphone this will cause feedback echoing and this kind of things which we need to avoid how we can avoid it using headphones earphones these kind of devices i bought this because they re look really low profile. They are really affordable. Okay. Let me see if they are in a deal. But I don't think at this price they need a deal. Okay. And they sound good. And also they look really low profile. Let me show you when I put this headphones it's really hard for you to notice that i'm using them let me adjust this in the back so as you can see they are really low profile let me connect it So let me connect this here. Okay. There you go. So they look really low profile, and if the price. Okay, you can't 
see or you can't listen how they sound good, but they sound good. The price, the good sound, the low profile doesn't convince you. I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can find it. The case that me has to put them. And also you have these different silicone here tips to adjust to your here okay so i think you have more than reasons to buy this Oops. okay so i'm gonna make a small break and i'll be right back okay don't go away please or i'll cry See if I can find it. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna unmute and now I'm unmuted. Thank you so much, Tyler. <laughs> you saved my life. Thank you. So, welcome back. You did. Yes. Perfect. Don't forget to follow me, by the way, if it's the first time tuning in, please feel free to follow. So you can pick my next shows. So now highlighted in the carousel, it's my main camera, this one, which is providing this image, this nice, clear, crisp image, or sharp. I don't know if it's crisp or sharp, or sharp or crisp, it doesn't matter. It has a 
it has a good image. Okay, this is a Canon camera. It's good to take pictures and also to shoot videos. Okay, I, and this was the reason why I bought it because when I bought it, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven years ago, I don't know, I think at least six years ago, I bought it. Okay, let me see if I can show you the camera. There you go. So it's here. This is the camera. Okay. Here in Europe, it has a different name. It's the Canon 700D. In the United States, it's the Rebel T5i. It's a really nice camera, okay, as you can see. Uh, and I'm using the same uh, specifications that you see in this camera because, for instance, I could change the lens. And maybe I will do it in a, in a couple of months, maybe. <laughs> okay, or I may buy another one. And the thing is, it's, it's a really nice camera. If you want to take it outside and take some photos, it's a nice camera or record some video, okay? So if you want to take a look, if you're looking to a good camera, this could be, and affordable as well. This is something important because this is an affordable camera. Okay, so if you want, you may take a look at it. And another camera which I'm using right now, and this is my old trustable C920, it's this camera. Okay, this camera here, which is here in this stand. This is my overhead camera. Okay, the C920, as you can see, it has a really nice image. Sometimes she focuses fastly, other not so far, not so fast. It's a nice camera affordable, trustable. Uh, she made last Monday seven years. Okay, so I have it for seven years and it still works like this. Okay, really good image quality. Logitech has two softwares, not one, but two softwares, which allows you to adjust properly the image, which is really nice. Okay. And in this case, you will get a better image. You will get a really affordable and reliable camera with good image. This is one of the most used webcams. So if you want to have one of the queens in the webcam world, this C920, it's the queen. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. We have here this microphone M stand from Toner, which Toner sent it to me. This is a really nice, this is the stand. This is the stand, okay, but I'm gonna show because I have two of them. <laughs> okay. Hello, Stephanie, how are you? If it's the first time, please feel free to follow me. <laughs> Stephanie, follow me. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you're doing fine. Okay, so if you need, I'm doing good as well. Thanks so much for asking. Okay, so. This is a really nice boom arm, okay, the toner T20. Okay, what do I like about this uh, boom arm? Okay, I can start the conversation with what the boom arm includes. It includes this boom arm, of course, okay, as you can see, really nice, okay. It's not one of the biggest ones, okay? They have the T20, T30, which is bigger than this one. Okay, I think it has more, I don't know, maybe 20 or 20 centimeters, okay, on each uh, arm. Okay, as you can see, it has, it's sturdy. It has these wing nuts here, 
so you can adjust the position and put it stable okay even though it has the springs and this was something that I was a little bit worried about was a, a, that springs may do some noise while you're uh, moving around the boom arm but as you can listen they don't do that much noise okay it comes with this uh, microphone clip with this pop filter and also this sh foam shield to your microphone okay even though usually microphones they come with the the windscreen okay sturdy it holds up to four pounds here okay which means that you can put here to old up to three blue yeti microphones which is really strong and I, I believe in that even though i never tried i believe in that because it's a uh, sturdy but at the same time it's easy to move okay for instance let me show you on this one because it's the same it moves smoothly and easily it's easier to move than this one okay and one of the things i like about it, about it bes besides all of that those i already mentioned is that i love the clamp okay it's sturdy it has this beautiful nice logo with this golden sweet golden whale okay and also it has this hook where you can for instance you can hang headphones your backpack it's up to you what but it's really sturdy as you can see oh my god so sturdy and it has this hook where you can hang mainly headphones but yes you can hang a backpack or something else here okay so this is how it looks this really nice boom arm from toner the t20 what else do we have here let me put some background music no no okay I have them here let me put some background music because this is more entertaining with background music hopefully welcome everybody if you're just tuning in right now welcome to my live show Marco Novo here from Portugal. So if you're wondering which earbuds I am wearing right now, those are the Trap Lab X3. Pro. Really good sound. One of the things I like about them, besides having a good sound, which is the most important thing, is that they have this kind of hook around your ear, which will provide an extra grip. Okay, and with that, it's harder for you to lose it. Because some people using the normal earbuds, sometimes they fall and if you're running and you don't uh, be aware of that, you may lose your cute earbuds and this will be a pity. And with this, it's hard than that. Also, they come with this cute case, which is also a charger, okay? when you charge the, the earbuds through this okay it's almost i need to charge this soon okay but when you charge the headphones here headphones, it will be charging this as well and this works kind of a like a power bank and this will power so every time you put the earbuds inside the box they will be charging until the next time you use it 
and we have a new follower. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I need to hit the magical button. Let me do something here before doing that, because today this will be amazing. Let me just try to turn some lights on here. Oh my God. Let me try this. Because Stephanie deserves a big thank you and a celebration. Like it has to be. Okay, I think now I'm almost ready to go. Okay, let me do this. So, thank you so much, Stephanie. Let me try this. Yes, it's working. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for following me. So if you want to have some fun as well, please follow me. because otherwise I will be so tanned. Okay, there you go. Let's keep moving. Let's talk a little bit about the Travel Lab products, which are amazing. They, the Travel Lab crew sent me a couple of items really nice. Let me bring them all to the table. Okay, we have here the speakers. Let me change the camera. Let me see. Let me do this. So we have here the speakers. Let me put them here. Okay, and here we have the headphones. Oh my God, this is going so crazy. Let me. Okay, I need to, I want to play some background music. I think in uh, the Dominican Republic. 
Público. I'm doing good as well. Muchas gracias. Teresa, muchas gracias por preguntar. Deseo que este sábado esté muy bien. If I can find the, 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 the singer who sings a song called Teresa. Teresa. I know that he has a name like uh, Yahoo or y Yogurt or something. <laughs> I'm looking for the song called Teresa. Just to let you know so you can listen to the music. But I'm not. <laughs> oh my God. This is frustrating. Yahir, ahí está. There's, there's a, a singer called Yahir, Y-A-H-I-R, which sings a, a song called Teresa. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. Let's talk a little bit about this. Travel Lab Z7. Pro, these amazing headphones. First thing when, and I like to talk this, I can't say it enough, how smooth they are when you grab them. Okay, these paddings, they are really smooth so they don't hurt your head. As you can see, it has here craved the Trab Lab logo. Okay, they have a really nice active noise cancellation okay so when you put even the passive noise cancellation once you put the the headphones in your ears it will cancel so much noise from the surroundings okay as you can see if you don't know which one it's you have here the left and here the right okay this is powered 
and uh, charging via USB cable you will have the cables here to charge it okay this is the charging cable and also you have this aux cable here okay pretty nice okay also you have here the this is the a touch pad control okay so when you slide front you can go to the next track when you slide back this will go to the beginning of the track off to the back track when you swipe up you put the volume up when you swipe swipe down guess what you'll put the volume down okay also you can get income calls with these they sound really well i love the sound because it, it has so much detail on it they are really nice headphones comfortable and also really good sounding okay they are similar to this one the x the z2s the main difference okay the, the z7 they have better sound and those these ones they have kind of physical buttons it's not touching okay you have here the power uh, volume up and down and also next track or back track here okay you have here the active noise cancellation button okay they are smooth as well really nice okay but the this the z7 they have better sound but this they have good sound as well and you can use this as a headset as well because in the aux cable you will get a microphone okay and you just need to connect this to your computer for instance this trrs input and with that you can use these headphones as an headset okay they work really nice you can start them like this in the case there you go you can change these two pads okay you will find them in the travel app store on amazon and there you go i think both this is in a deal oh my god it's not highlighted shame on me they are in a deal let me check So in the Z2s you will save thirty dollars twenty five percent. Okay, really good deal. Oh my God, let me change this angle because this looks a little bit awkward. Okay, now let me show you the Travel Lab speakers because they look really well and they work even better. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, oh, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so let's move on. So here we have three different speakers from Travel Up. This is the FX100. This is the HD 77, and this is his small brother, the HD 7. Okay, all of them they are waterproof. This one is IPX4. This is IPX6, which means it can go underwater up to one meter. I don't recommend that, but it's up to you. And this one, okay, let me highlight it. And this one it's also waterproof i don't know let me just check Man, oh yes it is all of them are listed in carousel so just let me check Yeah, 
Okay, this one, the H, the HD7, the small one, it's IPX6 as well. This, I think, the FX, it's IPX4, so it can get some water drops, sweat drops, but uh, you can't throw it to the water expecting that it will work at the end, okay? So let's see which one it's highlighted right now. It's the FX100. You will save, let me check. I think it's 50%, 44%, sorry. Okay, so here you have the commands. So you can get income calls with this. Okay, you can, here it's to power on. There you go. Powered pa on. Powered on. Good. Play and pause here. Connected. Backtrack, next track. Volume up, volume down. Okay. You can connect here a aux cable. This is rubber. Okay. This is rubber and uh, metallic grids. Okay. Here you can connect a 3.5 millimeter aux cable. And something really nice. Okay, you have this carabiner as well, which is nice. Okay, this is, I think this is a kind of shockproof because this is rubber. And here, my dear friends, I have something to show you. Really nice. Here we have a power bank. Okay, I think I need to rotate this side. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is up to 7,200 amperes or milliamperes. I never know the right designation. Okay, you have here the USB. Oops. Up, 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 up. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so here it, there's a USB C port. Also, you have here to charge it. Also, you have here the USB-A, so you can plug the charging cable. Okay, here you put it on, and you have here a battery indicator to tell you how it is. Amazing. Okay, so if you go camping, if you go hiking, if you go out and about, this is a perfect solution to be powered all the time 10 watts speakers they are it's not the most powerful because for instance this one is 25 and this one is 12 okay if having a good sound it's the main thing for you maybe you can go with this one the hd 77 if you kind of want to balance between a good sound and the possibility to have a power bank as well this could be a nice option. This one, the FX100. Okay, let me put it a little bit to play. I think I can do this. Let me see. I think this is connected. Okay. Let me go to here so I can find some free musics okay probably you're not listening the same way as I do because the sound goes through through this from the speaker to the microphone and then goes up 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 through the internet and if you don't have for instance if you're not wearing headphones you're not getting the the same sound as I do okay but I'm going to try it as well. I think it has a good sound, so let me put the volume up. Oops. Volume down. Pause. Play. So. I think it's really nice good bass as well okay
let's move on let me let me just now it's the and those the uh, one of the things i like and this one as well but i like even more on this is the way they are built really solid okay this is i think it's nylon or something here you have the charging and oxy cable connections okay there you go you have also this lanyard here with the carabiner as well okay 25 watts speakers let me turn this on you get this led light okay volume down backtrack or uh, to the beginning of the song play pause volume up next track you can get calls from uh, from them, okay, all of them. You can get calls uh, with these speakers. So let me see if this is connected. Now it's connected. So it has a more powerful sound. Okay, now I've paired this one. Okay, it's almost the same. Uh, okay, uh, this one has 12 watts. This one has 25, so I think you can tell the difference. Besides that, they are kind of same. This doesn't have the LED lights here at the top, but it has this thread, a quarter of inch thread, so you can screw something here, and for instance, Travel Lab, in the, if you go to the Amazon store of Travel Lab, you will find there a mount which you can use in a bike, for instance, and you can uh, put this speaker there. The good, another good thing is that you can pair Travel Lab, more than one Travel Lab device to your cell phone. Okay, so for instance, now I'm playing this music. Okay, here. And I'm going to show you that I have, let me see if I can, okay, I need to adjust the exposure of the camera so you can see. Okay, as you can see, I have both speakers paired at the same time, so I can change from one to another. As you can see, now it's this one playing. I can see, you can notice the difference. And now I can put the... And it's really fast, changing from one to another. Okay, so I'm going to put this ambient sound and I'm going to... I think I'm going to finish for today. I think I already talked about most of the products. Okay, I'm just going to finish with this Q9 microphone from Toner. Okay, this is the Q9. It's a really good sounding microphone. Okay, it comes with this shock mount. Okay, one of the things I like about it, when you don't use the windscreen, it looks really, it has a really nice minimalistic look, design. Okay, I'm gonna... 
because I think it's I think it is in a deal as well. Okay, it comes with a boom arm with a shock uh, with a shock mount. Of course, it's here the shock mount to prevent vibrations to coming into the microphone. The boom arm it comes out with a pop filter and this windscreen, as you can see. Okay, here you have this button to adjust the volume up and down, and also when you hit this button, the plus button for three seconds, this will mute the microphone. And the light is on, which means the microphone is on. One, two, three, light off, microphone muted. One, two, three, light on, microphone unmuted, okay? Let me speak a little bit and I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to finish the show using this microphone. This could be a really completely different experience using the Q9. Let me check. Yes, you will save $25 in this deal. I think it's working. Yes. Okay, so now you are listening to this Q9 microphone. I'm going to put the volume up a little bit because I think it's a little bit low. Hello. Okay. So this is how this microphone sounds. I think it sounds really nice. So trying the the Q9 microphone it's the way to finish the show for today i don't want to put this in the boom arm i'm really lazy today so i'm going to hold it in my hand thank you so much for tuning in wish you an amazing saturday don't forget to follow okay it's already done. let me play a background music here Okay, this one. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It was a really pleasure to see you all here today. You were amazing. You were epic. Hope. Okay, I think I can uh, still wish you an amazing year. Wish you an amazing 2022. Wish you an amazing Saturday. A lovely weekend. Oh my god, this music is really nice. You can follow me on other social media platforms. If you have any questions, meanwhile, you have two minutes to ask me. I will be back on Monday.
so stay tuned. Wish you an amazing Saturday, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. An amazing, lovely, relaxing Sunday as well for all of you. <laughs> And I'm leaving, Tyler. Wish you an happy Sunday. <laughs> See you, my friend. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back Monday. Till then. Behave. Bye bye. Oh my God. Okay, there you go. Bye bye.